Hello and welcome to this quick tip. I get asked quite a lot on uh, my photography on how I avoid uh, the mesh and glass screening when I'm doing um, shots of animals in zoos or wildlife parks or anything like that. Well the answer to that is sometimes you can avoid it and sometimes you can't. It really is the look of the draw. But if you know what you're looking for, i.e. The best advice I can give to anybody is avoid direct sunlight on the mesh if you're shooting through it. Try and find a dark piece of mesh or a shady piece of mesh which will uh, limit the reflection off the bars or the mesh or the um, glass as much as possible. Um, word dark colours if you can if you're shooting through glass um, because obviously you don't want the, if you had a red jumper on for instance, you don't want that reflecting uh, on the glass and then therefore distorting your image but from time to time it does happen and as you can see from this you can see running down here I've got some green lines that are quite obvious in the photograph itself it's a quick easy remedy I'm going to go to the burn tool select the burn tool go up to the top where the range is set at the shadows and the exposure I'm moving up to about hopefully 15% um, it will vary on everybody's photographs by this is important by keeping the left mouse button depressed and just gradually gently going over the problem area as you can see it's slowly disappearing and then over the top like so but then we've still got um, a shadow that's coming across uh, the beak which is obviously um, the mesh itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down the exposure on the shadows to about 8 and gently just go over and very gently because I want to retain the detail that's with the bird just go around the edges there just to blend it in a little bit more like so and once that's done then I can go to image adjustments and levels and with that I'm just going to bring the white up to the tip of the input levels just about there click OK then back to image adjustments brightness and contrast I'm going to boost the contrast up to about 12 and the brightness just going to drop it down just a tiny little bit to about minus 3 just to balance the photograph out properly and that's it a quick fix to some troublesome problems that you could have. I hope that helped you. Thanks for watching.